Hey guys, I can't fertilize for the next three years. I've got something pretty serious to talk about. Uh, major announcement. So basically, when I made the purchase of this new business, uh, part of the negotiation to make it more affordable for me was that I had to sign a non-compete for fertilizer for the next three years. Now, a lot of you know me as somebody that fertilizes a lot, and I love fertilizing. Uh, so this wasn't like an easy decision for me, but I knew that overall it was going to help the company and grow, and I, I thought that it was the best thing to do. So let me explain exactly what I did. The way that this came about was during one of the meetings towards the end, once we almost had everything figured out as far as logistics and the assets that were involved, all the clients, uh, when we were trying to figure out how to make the sale uh, faster, uh, because you know I still had to come up with some money, the seller asked me how I felt about possibly selling them my fertilizer accounts and that would lower the cost and they would buy the fertilizer accounts at the same value at the same evaluation that I was buying their accounts and so basically it was like a trade and that would lower the cost by quite a bit and so I thought to myself at first I said to them you know I, I have to really think about it I, I appreciate where you're coming from and that's that would really help me out with the price but we're a full service company and so I, I really have to pray about it is what I told them and they said you know they understood and and we went you know I left that meeting uh, just with something really to think about um, and I was really thinking about that for the, the whole time I was going through that week and, and it started to, to make more sense because this was an opportunity for us to grow the business in double, double the size. And the fertilizing was the actually the smallest division that I offer. So, so financially it made sense, but just as far as service providing and customer service, that was something that I had an issue with. And I actually brought in all the managers, there was three of them, and we were talking about this and going, does this make sense? And the initial reaction was, you know, we're a full service company, so it doesn't really make sense. But the more we talked through it and, and we were debating in during that meeting, they we all ultimately decided that this was the best thing for our company. And one of the things that came out of that meeting was if we're gonna stop fertilizing the lawn, let's start fertilizing trees and shrubs, because I'm allowed I would be allowed to do that in my non compete. And, and also, part of the non-compete was that I can still do soil conditioning fertilizer with my spring wake-up packages because that's kind of our signature service. Uh, and so that was kind of the deal breaker. If I wasn't going to be allowed to do soil conditioner, then I wasn't going to be able to do this because I've got to be able to do that to my customers. And that's just, so, so when I talk, brought that up to the seller, uh, the initial... Uh, pitch to that was when I'm when I'm doing soil conditioner that's not directly affecting the grass not like nitrogen or iron it's soil conditioner it will eventually benefit the lawn but not directly so because of that we were all good with that and so that's what we decided to do so as far as putting the truck fertilizer tank together it's, it's going to be because we're going to start fertilizing trees and shrubs. So I'm really excited about this. Uh, we've, it made it so I can afford the company a lot easier without the stress of a loan or anything. I was able to do everything in cash. And so I'm really excited about the future and we'll go back to fertilizing the lawn in three years. What I'm doing today is I'm getting the tank out and the pump and reel and we're going to put it on the fertilizer truck and strap it down and then take it somewhere to get bolted down really good. Hopefully they'll also put these hoses on for me. If not, we'll do it when we get back to the shop. But I just want to make sure it's ready because we start doing soil conditioning fertilizer in two weeks. I'm all loaded up. Uh, I'm just so busy lately that I haven't had time to figure out how to bolt this down. 
Uh, normally I would just work on it myself, but I'm gonna take this to Big O Tires. Hopefully they'll do it for me. They usually help me out. Uh, and if they do, they're really saving me. Okay, so here are the signs for the fertilizer truck. I wanna take this back to the decal place and see if they will actually um, put a new sign on the other side, like here. And it just says, tree and shrub fertilizing. <laughs> so, so we'll scrap this since we don't no longer do lawn fertilization and pest control. I'm just gonna go big with tree and shrub fertilizing. Why not? The reason why I'm trying to get the tanks up and running so fast is that in a couple of weeks we start preventative treatment for iron chlorosis. Iron chlorosis is the most common minor nutrient deficiency in Utah for most trees because the pH levels in the soil is so high. March is the best time to treat most trees with an iron magnesium mix. Chlorosis causes that yellowing on trees with the dark green veins. It starts at the beginning and it gets worse and ultimately will kill your trees. Fertilizing, like this preventative treatment that we're doing, is best done preventatively rather than trying to save the tree. And this is an annual service that should be performed every March or in spring sometime. Now, the most common trees that are affected by iron chlorosis are maple, oaks, birch, tulip trees, sweet gum, flowering pear, flowering peach. There's a couple shrubs that are also affected like nine bark and spirea, just to name a couple. This is what we're gonna start doing in a couple of weeks. So I'm really excited about this. Please let me know in the comments what you think about this whole scenario. Uh, and let me know what it is that you're fertilizing as far as trees and shrubs and what you're using. Thanks, see you on the next one.